I actually told my wife to embrace her mistakes. So, so she hugged me. Um, yeah, we are rolling. Oh, sorry. Uh, last time, we spoke about how to write cold emails in a way that you start getting responses. Yeah? I've linked that video in the description. Do check it out if you haven't after this one. When we put that video out though, some of the most frequent comments and questions on that was all these cold email tips are good and all, but how do we build databases for free? I've been doing cold emails for over seven years now. That's what I know, understand and love. That's what helped us take our services operations from a two people team to a 55 people team. That's what helped us take client joy from 13 users to 13,000 businesses in 90 countries. In that process, I've made thousands of dollars for tools and softwares. I've written queries that scraped web pages, searched, sort, and filtered through spreadsheets, and even hired interns and VAs to do all that stuff. After making seven long trips around the sun doing cold emails, I filtered down a couple of things to do about building databases for free. There are essentially five simple steps to this. And one bonus step at the end of this video, so do stick around for that. And so building cold email databases for free, that's what I'm going to talk about today. My name is Yash. I used to be an investment banker who started an IT agency, scaled the agency to a 55 people team that built SaaS, FinTech and e-commerce web and mobile applications. I now run ClientJoy, a platform that helps 4,000 agencies and 9,000 freelancers from 90 plus countries grow their business and manage their clients. Welcome to the Agency Advocate. First, the paid versus free debate. Now actually, first let me clarify that all the tools, resources and softwares that I'm going to share in this video are not affiliated with me in any way, shape or form. If and when you choose to go ahead with any of them, I don't stand to gain anything out of it. These are just the ones I've had the good fortune and sometimes misfortune to use. Now, the paid versus free debate. Should you go in for a free software or a paid one? Here's how I think about it. If you don't have money, you have time, lots and lots of time. As long as it doesn't seem like you could be using your time towards better, more meaningful things, continue to use these softwares for free. But as soon as you start feeling that you could yield higher returns for your business, if you spend those few hours prospecting, qualifying, negotiating, or closing your leads rather than doing manual activities, don't hesitate. Shift to paid ones. I've lost weeks and months of opportunities because I continued to think that my time was worth less than the software I should have paid for. Before we get into the softwares and resources, I'll also encourage you to build a clear thought process around cold emailing. The goal of cold emailing is to prospect and that's it. You want to use it to make people who you think might need your services aware about your services and then qualify them. That's it. I did a separate video on a framework to qualify your leads. Do check that out after this one. Now coming to all the steps. So there are five steps as I shared with you. Step number one, figure out your ideal client persona. ICP is basically a list of characteristics that define folks who are most likely to be in need of a service like yours. So if you're offering SEO optimization for e-commerce companies, probably folks who are using Shopify and doing $100,000 in business a year in sales are a good ICP for you. You can think of various other characteristics like the, their location, business age, business type, etc. and define that on an ICP document that I've linked in the description over here. Step number two, figure out where your data about your ICP hangs out. What are some places where all of your ICP data points are listed? So if you're offering technical services to software companies, probably G2, Captera and Trustpilot are good databases. If you're targeting recently funded companies, look at Crunchbase or Angel.co and so on and so forth. Step number three, scrape this data with a no-code tool. Phantom Buster is a great example. You can scrape Facebook page, groups or LinkedIn lists or even Instagram profiles and get specific details like their name, business name, business website, description, etc. You can essentially set it and forget it. It will keep populating an Excel sheet with data points about your ICP while you sleep. Step number four, once you have a large list, let's say 500 to begin with, that contains contact name, business name, website link, business size, etc. Use a tool like hunter.io or apollo.io to identify email addresses of relevant folks in those businesses to reach out to. If you're offering UI UX design services, you want to reach out to the product head or the creative head and not the account team or the sales team. Step number five, integrate with a CRM. Once you've done step one and two, you can automate the whole flow with platforms like Zapier and Pabli to softwares like ClientJoy, hashtag always be selling. 
to make sure you receive consistent inflow of leads and enroll them into email sequences and help you spread awareness and prospect your list. And that's pretty much it. To be honest, it's not as easy as my, I might have made it sound like, but it's like riding a bike. It's difficult the first few times, but once you get the hang of it, you don't even consciously think about it. I would encourage you to stick with it with some amount of patience. You might pull your hairs a couple of times in making the whole thing work, but once it starts working, you will become unstoppable. Lastly, a bonus tip as promised. This I discovered rather a little late in my cold emailing slash business building database building journey, but it's B2B sales leads.com. You can head over there and just create a filter and criteria and it will give you the database. So you don't have to go through step three, four and five. But while you do that, you must also be aware. There are a lot of precautions that you should take before you start cold emailing left, right and center. I will be doing a separate video on ensuring your domain authority, spam rates and inbox rates while cold emailing a bunch of people. So don't forget to subscribe. That's all folks for today. I hope this has been helpful for you. If you learned something today, hit the like button on this video and let the algorithm gods know that something interesting is happening here so they can send in more people. If you still have open questions, do write them out in the comments below and I'll respond. I do growth videos weekly and if you'd like to learn from them, do consider subscribing and pressing the bell icon so you never miss another update. Until next time.